Today we're gonna talk about wine glass options. Over a few of the sparkling ones first. So it was really popular back in the 20s. You see it now maybe more used in cocktails, okay, is the flute. This goes of the wine. It's not necessarily the greatest way to experience all the aromatic pleasures of the wine. The cascading bubbles that you get when you drink sparkling wine or champagne. So that's this glass here. It's a glass that they, you would traditionally use for most white wines. It works, it's big enough, but not too the traditional glass you would use for a white wine. Again, it's just big enough that you get all that air, but not overly big. This is what's known as a burgundy or a Pinot Noir glass. There's a rule about the shape of red wine glasses and it has to do with the shape of the glass compared to the shape of the bottle. I wanna put it into this glass. A good example of the opposite side of that, as you see, it's the same sort of bottle. Cabernet, like Merlot, grapes that you would find grown in Bordeaux, and that bottle shape, it should be a guy really works best for you and what you like best. A basic overview of wine glasses, but again, the glass in the- So many different types of wine glasses that tell you in two minutes how to pick the wines go with them. The foot, the rim, a very important sparkling, great wines for white wine, wines like Pinot Noir or lots of the aromas coming to you now. Best style for full body Bordeaux and Riojas. Tiny glass will be perfect for this, like port, 